Hello, Teresa Perry McCabe here, welcoming you to grab a bowl of popcorn and get ready to enjoy the show. Our feature film, Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, um, was quite, quite a catchy title, uh, was released in 2014 and is a dark comedic drama, aka dark dramedy. This is not your typical Marvel or DC superhero movie. There's quite a bit of rich character development and depth to it. It is written and directed by Alejandro G. Inarritu, and I'm probably saying that wrong, so my apologies. Um, and might I also add that there's an amazing cast. Michael Keaton, Edward Norton, Emma Stone, Naomi Watts, Amy Ryan, and Lily Duncan. Please allow me to introduce you to our dark hero, Regan Thomas, otherwise known as Birdman, played by Michael Keaton, whom in his own right is one that is past his prime, so to speak. Sorry, Michael, if you're out there listening. Um, but he is a superhero playing an aged and washed up actor who also played a superhero which makes it quite interesting seeing the possible parallels of the two actors who both played superheroes and their life's journey after the gig is up. Here's an ins inspirational quote from the author, which I find a bit thought provoking. And it goes like this. And did you get what you wanted from this life? Even so I did. And what did you want to call myself beloved? to feel myself beloved on this earth. Raymond Carver from the late Brad Pitt. The name of the play that is written, directed, and acted by Regan Thomas is what do we talk about when we talk about love, which is a sensational title. Don't we all wonder at this at some point in our lives? Anyway, take... <laughs> It takes place in my favorite on-Broadway theater, the St. James in New York City. Let me do a little untidy segue. Uh, I was never very good at making segues, and for you millennials out there, I'm not talking about the mode of transportation used in the city or around campus. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, if you are at all interested in being in the film or theater industries, I think this film depicts the behind-the-scenes life that goes on in the industry with realism. A good prep film. Okay, now back to the review of Birdman, or the unexpected virtue of ignorance. In the opening scene, Michael Keaton, playing Regan Thomas, is levitating in his underwear in his dressing room with the voice of Batman slash Birdman, his alter ego speaking to him in the voice of a superhero character that he used to play in the movies, aka Birdman. It is with a bit of skepticism or self-doubt that I suggest that Regan Thomas is a situational archetype character on a journey of self-discovery. Regan is a father to daughter Sam. While taking a chance and pivoting his career to writing, directing, and acting in a Broadway play, he is learning unpleasant truths about his past family life through conversations with his daughter and his ex-wife. There are demons of creativity that he must face as he travels down this journey's path. One of the interesting ideas about this movie is that it is showing the vulnerability of the man. How his life is not perfect, it's a bit of a mess, taking a page right out of the super out of the Spider-Man genre. This is a far cry from the concept of a character with superhuman strength and invulnerability from the origins of Superman back in the 1930s. The insight this insight is from The Mass Superheroes by Richard Reynolds from The Superhero Reader. All I can say is we've come a long way, baby. Regan seems to have inherited a superpower from Birdman, which he doesn't really use for good or evil. Well, that actually depends on your definition of evil and your tolerance to dark comedies. And through his journeys of, journey of self-discovery, he's learning how to use his superpower, and he finally masters it in the end of the movie. You're going to need to watch the movie to find out just what that superpower, what superpower he has, how he's mastered it, and what he does with it in the end. There are several journeys of self-discovery in the film, personal and character-driven. 
This is a thought-provoking film where the humanity may be easy to identify with. His ex-wife has a great line where she tells Regan that he always confuses love for admiration. This one line speaks to me and how humans battle insecurities and how an actor finds balance as a person as well as within the industry and how the lines get blurred. And if not careful, one could lose everything that they've taken for granted. Let me just say third time's a charm. It took me watching the movie three times to finally enjoy it. Not sure what that says about the movie. The first time I I kept falling asleep. The the second time I made it through and picked a few things up. And the third time I watched it in its entirety and like I said, thoroughly enjoyed it. All in all, I give this film two thumbs up. Um, Thank you for tuning in to Teresa Perry McCabe's movie review channel here at Key State College, posting live from Silver Lake. Stay tuned for upcoming summer movie reviews. Until then, stay safe and be kind.